Welcome everybody. Today I want to walk you through my unboxing of Boat Lono. It's an inflatable kayak for fishing out of Fort Walden Beach, Florida. I've been a long time boat rider, if you will. I have the Bug Slinger stand-up paddleboard that I've taken fishing on numerous occasions. I've done several trips down canyons in Utah on a paddleboard, a little expeditionary style. And I decided to go with a kayak for once. Um, the new package they're offering right now, I went ahead and bit the bullet and got. And let me tell you, some of the surprises inside this kayak, I wasn't even ready for. But I'm gonna walk you through each little bit and show you a few little things about it. And hopefully it goes over some things that the actual boat video may not have touched on that I thought were pretty pertinent. But either way, uh, let's go. starting at the top up here they have little scotty dots all over and i found that the ram mount attachments fit right in there for mounting gopros cameras or any number of the ram mount features that a lot of people are familiar with there are handles and d-rings all over this thing now this paddle board is four chambers as you can see, you have the two side walls. You have the bottom keel. Now, one of the things I noticed with the dais is they had a adjustable footrest, which in the initial Lono package, they did not have. However, now, as you can see, you can adjust multiple lengths here of the footrest. One of the other things I noticed is that in the original Lono, they had two slide-in stabilizers that you could put a tackle box between. However, they've taken away from that, and in this fourth chamber that clips on with the G-clips, they now have the inflatable cushion, which opens up even more storage area all the way back through the open transom. The seat is mounted with a slide in canvas type material you see on a lot of marine products. Tackle rack receiver in the back for the rocket rack, four pole holder, fly rods or conventional fishing rods, which they left you two receivers here for a bucket rack as well as the elastic tie down strap. On each side, they have these Velcro pockets that mount, perfect for storing phones, fishing pliers or whatever else you need. They have them on both sides, as you can see, and they have these slide adapters. Now I saw on the dais as well, they have a slide in cup holder that can mount inside the craft. That's still a work in progress, but they gave you the mounts ahead of time for that. Coming on back, they have the sand spear attachment here in which they give you the Velcro straps here and here on both sides in the event you want to strap down your sand spear or paddle again handle another handle right here my cooler cooler has not arrived yet but it goes right there that also comes in the package tie downs and if you look i'll take you inside here back through the open transom but there is storage all the way through this. They have a plate here for the micro pole adapter if you need it. That open transom, coming back around, more hip. Handles, you could put your sand spear on either side. And did I mention, that duffel right there houses the entire kayak itself.
Now, a couple of things I want to go over are some of the items that came in this package. I was surprised when I saw how they had modified several different things to make life that much easier. First thing. In the package, you have the boat aero pump and the boat hand pump. Now, if you'll notice something different about this, this tube right here and this switch right here, I was unaware from my last boat products, just they had a standard hand pump. Well, they've gone and made it a dual chamber pump so that you air up on both the upstroke and the downstroke. When I put this together today, this package hadn't arrived yet with the actual mechanical pump. As you can see, it inflated, and I was surprised at how efficient and how fast. You could inflate this on dual chamber just by flipping this switch here, and when it started to get a little bit stiff, you just flipped it over and topped it off with a single stroke pump. It's wonderful. Now, if you look right here on the dial, you'll notice it's color-coded yellow, green, and red. This thing operates at 10 to 15 PSI. The green starts right here at 15 PSI, just outside the yellow. So right when it starts to get to the green, you know that you're at your max fill. The number on the bottom here gives you a small yellow bar and the first number is seven. It just so happens your seat cushion inflates to seven PSI, giving you two complete reference points with a hand pump that just make this thing air up way quicker than I expected. Like I said before, I had an ISUP that used to have to just hand pump up before I bought a mechanical pump, and it would take you a few minutes, and it would wear on you just a little bit. But going over to this one, they have a dial. You can set your PSI, 7, 15, all the way up to 20. It also has the color-coded gauge, and if you'll notice this no-kink tubing, this is the outlet for inflation. They have an outlet here for deflation runs on a cigarette. Now, I was doing a little research and I found in some forums different directions on how this works, but a lot of times they say to connect the pump to your outlets on the reverse setting and you can vacuum pack the board down and folding in the Pacific pattern, it fits in the bag a lot easier. I haven't done that yet, but I plan to do that after this video in order to package this up. Some of the other things that came in the package, your standard patch kit, tie-up strap for when you put it in the case, large box fin attachment for a center fin. They do have the two uh, side bike fins that are already on the board, pre-molded. In every state that I'm familiar with, having a flotation device is mandatory by law and on uh, some children it has to be worn no matter what now you got to check each state is different on the ages and everything else but boat was kind enough to include a co2 cartridge manual inflation life preserver that you can have that's low profile and this works for ice ups paddle boards you name it the next thing you get is the break apart kayak paddle breaks down into four pieces you got your blades standard grip tube with easy quick lock attachment on here they placed all the measurements from 235 to 260 centimeter and they give you your 45 degree marks with a reference point on the actual paddle with another blade that detaches here your drip cups on both paddles they connect together and can be attached to the side of the craft um, high quality stuff, carbon fiber, just out the gate. I have been super impressed with this. They talk about weight and being able to throw this around better than any other regular mode kayak. And uh, I threw it up here like it was nothing. So I found that this is just gonna be a joy on the water. And of course I'll do follow up videos and you can follow along as I take it out for its test trials and put it through and see how it responds to wind and things like that. I've had several friends by the dais and so I hopefully will have them in the videos as well. 
and uh, you'll be able to see the comparison size wise and things like that. But right now, the package is being offered free shipping from Bode with everything you need. Complete startup comes directly to your door. Pumps, hand pumps, patches, life jackets, paddles, every kind of creature comfort you can imagine. The seat is adjustable. The strap behind on the G-clip helps hold the rocket rack receiver in in place. But if you don't have that, the seat comes off, acts as a flotation device if you want. This section of the kayak here comes off. You can put your cooler right in the middle of it and have a floating little dock. Um, this also acts as a sup, which I'm curious to see how it plays out. I've noticed these walls here, and a lot of people are wondering, but these are 10 inch walls. Even for a beginner paddler, this gives you protection and a place to just begin your paddling journey. When I sat in here earlier, from here, my feet were on the furthest setting. I had plenty of room, and if you look, there's another four feet. So if you have one of your pets or children or anything like that, there's ample room. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I did some expeditionary paddling through several rivers, Texas and Utah. I take a little bit more gear than I should. And that being said, when looking at the space to put dry bags in here with clothes, food, tent, water. Don't forget my tackle box up front and everything else like that. I don't think I have enough gear to fill this. The amount of attachment points and things of that nature that they've put into this is just astounding. Like most people, I did my research initially. I looked online, I watched the videos, I poured over the boat website and I'm just gonna tell you, having it on my doorstep, I am 1000% impressed. So I won't beat this up any longer. Follow along. Like I said, I'll have more videos to follow. Cheers.